good morning guys welcome to today it is Monday and we are back from our break even though we were hardly gone yesterday we didn't vlog for the whole entire day I still edited two videos so yeah it wasn't really a break but it felt like a break to me and just so you know I am dealing with a medical situation here the medical situation is my thighs are screaming it's been two days since I rode Penny you guys didn't see but my horse is slow now I made her slow I don't know how I made her slow I wanted to teach her slow now I have to teach her fast again so I was asking her to go into like a trot kind of a movement a faster movement and she did not want to do it I was squeezing with my calves but when you squeeze, squeeze with your calves, it stretches way up into your thighs. Like you way don't up squeeze your calves to make her go. That's what that's what Fiona told me before. You squeeze your heels on her. Well, yeah, that's and what I always thought. Her, your feet just move a little bit. Yeah. You're supposed to go. Yeah, I don't kick. I don't kick my horse. Like, go on, get teacher. Out. I told Penny right from the beginning, I'm not hurt her, and she believes me, and I don't want to ruin that. Today we are breaking out the winter coats again. I cannot believe Gabby wore this teeny tiny thin little coat the entire winter. Like it has no padding. It's just like a little spring coat. She wore it all winter. It's raining and muddy. Rainy and muddy day. Poor Sophie. Her dog took a detour, I think. Oh, hey. there she is. There she is. It's not like super cold, not like winter. It's 10 degrees above zero, but the last few days have been like... 18 above 18 degrees above zero which might not seem like a lot but it actually is a big difference All right time to hit the road maybe wondering why Laura do you have a raccoon skull sitting on your desk on your table well let me tell you this thing is a piece of beauty this is a work of art isn't it gorgeous I'm hoping one of my grandkids will paint it and make it into some kind of fancy ring holder or something fun. Like, I thought it would be up Gabby's aisle, but she said she doesn't want, want to do it. Ha! Huh, somebody's dog pooped in the... It's not, not yours? Not, <laughs> not yours? Not yours? How many kids do you guys know that would clean up a mess not from their dog without even any comments? Go ahead, Pen. You ready? It's spring break, which means lots of fun. Lots of fun. That's great. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened last night? Penn, were you, did you have a little too much to drink? Holy heck. Come look at Penny's water bucket. I have something in there. Well, she has something in her water bucket. Oh. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> she a wall pooper? She's, she's a bucket pooper, I guess. Welcome into day by day vlogs where we joke about poop. Yeah, that's what happens when you live on a farm. Poop is where it's at. I gotta show that to Gabby. She's she poops on so the wrong that, wall though. So that um she has the rest of Come look at Penny's bucket. You're gonna be shook. She wants to to poop I think she had a little too much to drink last night. I'm not cleaning it. <laughs> Did you see her? She was scared when Gabby walked in her stall. Isn't that awful? <laughs> Not that anything against you, but she has to feel comfortable about who's in her stall. So, like, that's a huge change. I didn't even know what was happening. In the past, if we walked in her stall, she would jerk and run to the back. She was afraid. And now, she doesn't do that. Now she doesn't do that, ever. Except for when somebody walks in that I guess she doesn't feel comfortable with yet. Okay. Sam says she does it still she, to him. She wants me to come in here right now. Okay. All right. So who wants to clean Penny's stall? <laughs> let's like let's let's you. let's flip for it because I do not know how I'm cleaning that. It's your horse. You cleaned it before. Not like that. All right. What? She wants me to come in here right now. Yeah. She's like, come with okay, me, Mama. So oh my goodness. Daisy was over by the trailer and I was calling her and walking so I could get out of the rain. So I was calling Daisy and she was coming as I was walking. And she decided that she was gonna run and jump and touch my hand with her face. And like, and she was like trying to race me or something. Well, she's been trying to call the, the horses on to play lately. It took a long time. I'm scared of them. It took a long time, but she's kind of finally getting, oh, figuring yeah. out the horses. She goes up to Willow and pounces and it's like come on let's play and Willow looks at her and then she runs away and yesterday I took a penny out to eat grass I take her out every single day to eat grass and she knows when I get the halter at a certain time she comes running 
and we should throw hay inside. Good. Oh, good job. I sat back there with no phone, all three dogs just relaxing and enjoying life watching my girl eat and she was in love with Penny. She was running around Penny's legs, running around her feet and I was like, oh gosh, this is not gonna end well. And Penny told her like three times, get away, I don't want you to do this and she didn't listen. And finally she took a step toward her and <laughs> she, she was like, oh, you wanna play? And then she looked at her face and she's like, no, you don't wanna play and she ran off. So she is learning, you guys. And Penny is learning to be really she kind. This is a perfect example of why you should always empty your bucket when you when you when you fill it. Because if you procrastinate, you might end up on a day where your hair finally looks normal-ish, and then it'd be pouring rain and you don't have a hood. Yeah, that's that's why you do not proc procrastinate. I've never seen her jump before. Like even Molly, when she was young, she when she was younger, she would jump sometimes, like just randomly jump. I've never seen Daisy jump before, ever. Shit, she's a jumper. And yes, I know not to jump your puppy. All right, here we go. I'm letting them go. Go slow, listen. Show them what a good princess you are. Slow, slow and easy. Uh-oh, <laughs> what? What is that about? You poop in your feet, you're sliding? Come on. Huh, what happened? Did you really have a party last night? Maybe this is the new thing. We walk out together side by side. She didn't want to go past me. Here, Pen. Or she wanted a treat. <laughs> what was it? What was it? I'm a treat. Honey. All right, there you go. Shouldn't give her too many treats. She pooped on her thing, and I gotta clean it. Oh, it school. is no school spring break for us in Canada. Us. What are the rules for spring break? Um, we get to relax. Yep. And I can be my lazy self. Yep. And I can be on my phone. Yep. But we have to video. But we still have to do our, our vlog channel. We still have to work. That's what we get paid for. That's what the, they get paid for being on the vlogs. I made slime last night. So even though it's spring break and we're locked down, we can't go anywhere. We can't do anything. What's your favorite thing that you're going to get to do? Stay in bed. Stay in bed all day. Okay, we are not cleaning. <laughs> we are not cleaning. That's on my not to do list. Just like kids who go to school who have to be up at a certain time and have to go to class and then have to listen to the teachers and have chores at home and yeah, have, have rules and regulations. So do my kids. And it's not just all fun and games. They have to be up for school. They have to be up for chores. They have to oh be not on their phone until the end of our school day, which is 2.30. And they oh, have to... No, no, <laughs> it used to be 3.30. It used to be when Sam got home. And then it went to 2.30 and now suddenly it's at 2. It was at 1, so it's 2 or nothing. It was <laughs> okay. at 1. Okay, so there's no phones, there's no computers for fun, there's no fun <laughs> until the end of the day, just like for regular kids. So it's Yeah, fun, so it's just Gabby. torture. It's just torture, Gabby says. Torture. no fun. And we have to learn. Yeah, and they have to do school, but it is spring break. And now that it's spring break, they get to do whatever they want, essentially, except for that they still get paid for working, so they will still be doing stuff for the vlog. So don't worry, we'll still be here. And I have set aside a few days where we're gonna do extra videos, like a 24 hour challenge, and maybe a prank video, or I don't know, something we super fun. We are sleeping wherever I say we're sleeping. It is wet and cold. It is nine degrees, it says, but it does not feel like nine degrees. We're headed into the barn to ride our boys. Look at the grass, you guys. I don't think you can see it. Let's see. It is turning green. There's so much green out there. 
We came down to throw hay for the girls before we leave because it's chilly and I want them to be nice and warm and have something to do while we're gone because it's a rainy, boring, yucky day, but we had fun. Did you have fun this morning? Mm -hmm. Doing nothing? <laughs> yeah, we did. Sophie made cookies and she talked to her friend Elizabeth who hopefully you guys will get to meet a lot more in the vlogs this this summer when COVID is done because she's amazing, she's super fun. We planned our summer camping situation. There have been so many changes this year with COVID and so many other things that are regular. Horse camp has been canceled, so I found us another place, a, an amazing place, a place that I call heaven on earth for kids, for horse loving kids. And we're they're gonna be able to go to camp there and I can't wait to tell you guys about it, but Anyway, it was just a relaxing morning. That's what happens when it rains. You just don't feel like doing anything. And so we did just fun, boring stuff. Thanks, Sophie, for throwing hay. Next time Gabby gets to do it. Yeah, next time will be. Gabby throws hay every single morning. All right, it is for sure a yucky day. I know, I, what's the problem? You get like a hood that fits you or you get a hood that's 17 miles too big. So then you have to do this. So we're headed out. It's a yucky day on the not day by day farm. I just had a deja vu. I feel like we've been here and done this before with this same hat. Gabby's putting her hair up, getting ready to roll. And we're gonna go out and catch the horses. Everybody pray. Stop the video right now. Oh, Gabby's putting her helmet on. Oh, Gabby's putting her helmet on. Why are you doing that? So Keep yourself warm. So my hair is all wet. Yeah, your hair looks cute today. All right, oh, they left me. I hate when that happens. Like, Everything's going well, great, and then the kids wet. just walk away. Put on my helmet so that my helmet. Yeah. The problem is, you walk into a field where your horses might not want to come to you, and you yeah. got a helmet on. You need the halter. Oh, yeah. I'm that girl that just like walks and doesn't take the halter. Yeah. Joey so carries hers over her shoulder. Oh, this helmet. This helmet. This. I need a helmet instead of a hat. All right. Here we go. No horses. It is the walk and my thighs are killing me. Well, no horses there either. So it looks like we're going to the big field. Hey, you're protecting you. <laughs> you're protecting me? Remember Sophie's you like, Sophie's like, did I ever tell you I have a fear of this? <laughs> she has a fear of horses chasing, charging us. I don't know if you guys saw in the past, but yeah. Because has I happened. Was, I was stuck saving you. <laughs> save. Because I have to save you. You don't have to save me, so. But today, Gabby has to save us. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby will be saving us. Both my kids have a really funny sense of humor. Like, when Gabby's not on camera, oh my gosh, she cracks me up so bad. Like, we're gonna try and catch it on camera. She's funny. I have <sighs> a feeling that they're just in a shelter back there. This is like literally. Not the thing I wanted to do today after my legs are sore. But yeah, Sophie was talking to her friend on on FaceTime and making cookies. And after she made the cookies, she's like, yeah. Used to walk so we used to walk so fast, Gabby says. My thighs are hurting. So, oh, I see them. So Gabby says, Sophie says, yeah, now I have to clean up. And her friend said, yeah, I always have to clean up after myself too. And Sophie said, yeah, isn't it awful? Like, isn't it the worst? It was funny when, when she said it, like, out of the mouths of babes. Like, imagine a life where you never felt like cleaning up after yourself was fair. You're either a kid or a man, <laughs> if you feel like that. Okay, I can't go anymore. You guys, oh. Holy heck, this is nuts. Fit in here. My chest is hurting, I was trying to breathe in and out through my nose. If you have exercise due induced asthma and you're not fit, like at the beginning of the year, it's always the worst for me. For Gabby too. Oh, okay, this is where it's gonna get dicey. Every time I say, oh, they're, oh my God. That's the most beautiful thing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, they're all coming. Uh oh. And they're all coming. They must all think we're evil. I don't like that I can't see. 
Jump it, jump it. I'm gonna move this. are happening. Chino, come here! Come on, Chino! Come here! Alright, I'm going. Is that Storm? Yeah. There's Storm! Is that Storm? That's not Storm. Oh, Chino's going to get That's Storm. There's Finn! There's Finn! There's Chino! And <laughs> like, let's go the other way. Can I like not ride today? No, it's fine. He's a mess though. Gabby's brave in it. Well, that was nothing. Where is Storm? Right there in front of me. Nope. Um, he's hiding. Oh, look at that jealous boy! You guys see that? Gabby was rubbing another horse. That's the way to do it. Let's see if Finn will do that. Oh my gosh, Finn. Finn's way over there now. He was over there. Now he's over there all by himself. No, Finn is fine. Out of all these gorgeous horses, only one Palomino. One Palomino and one Appaloosa colored one. Personally, I think Gabby should wait for us because it's when she leaves that things get scary for us. Gabby, you wait for us. Where's your horse? Oh my gosh, like the farthest spot. Doesn't he know my legs are aching me? One here. What? The darkest one here. Did you see? Yeah, you know, we have the lightest horse here and the darkest horse here. There's a couple no, of dark ones. No. Oakley's lighter. Did you? Oh yeah, Oakley is lighter. Um, did you see your horse get jealous? Yeah. Jealousy. Who says jealousy is a bad trait? Uh-oh. I'm going to the wrong horse. I don't, wanna... I don't even know where our horse is. Your horse is right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my He's legs. Hi, oh, Storm. And I will make it to Oh, come on. Storm. 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 Come on, Storm. It's just us. My come on. Stormy boy. Okay, so I'll show you. I got treats. Be careful. Be careful <laughs> oh, one. Finn's pooping. Be careful, mom. Be careful yeah. Of that one. Yeah. And the one right there. Storm, I'm giving you treats. Here. Here. I got the treats. All right, I caught a finny. I caught a finny. Here, do you have a treat? <laughs> Good boy. All right. Stormy boy. Okay, here. They're all the other horses are watching. If anybody gets a treat, then they get mad and want one too. All right, look here, here. It's not an angry thing. I'm just gonna take you to take care of you. All right, I feel like Storm's throwing a little fit here. He knows who he can boss around. But that, my friends, is how you catch a horse in the rain, in the middle of a field of horses. All right, so that was a little harrowing. Harrowing because yeah. my thighs hurt. <laughs> Have I mentioned that lately? Oh, man, craziness. Okay, so we haven't really um, explained to you guys the whole situation with Storm's bum, I don't think. Like, just things just get busy and we don't explain it. We haven't explained it, but basically. Guy has the easiest horse to catch. Oh, I know, Chino just. He gets jealous and he's like, yeah. mom, what are you doing? It's beautiful to see him get jealous like that. I love that. No. All right. So, taking off coat number one. Okay, so, essentially, what happened is that he got dry skin on his tail, which I showed you, he gets it every single year, and then the vet came, and while he was here doing his shots, I said, you know, he's got this dry skin, but it's starting to turn, I was putting oil on the dry skin, like we've always done, and then when, by the time the vet arrived, like the vet came to do his shots, and 
I said to him, you know, this is looking suspicious to me because the skin is starting to peel off a little, like little clumps. And he said, uh, it just looks like dry skin to me. And I was like, uh, it kind of looks like rain rot to me. And he said, no, no, if this is what he's always had. Like, this is how you treat it. Keep putting the oil on. So I kept putting the oil on. And as I put the oil on, more space would become peel. More space would get, like, all sticky and peel off. And so over the course of two days of me putting the oil on, his bum, like, exploded. And I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to treat it like a fungal infection, like, um, like rain rot like I thought it was I'm just gonna do it and then we literally treated it like that and the next day it was 50% better so I don't know for sure what it is it's a it's a it's a fungal infection for sure but whew. but I think what happened was I was putting oil for the dry skin the oil got on the rest of them and then he was sweating it was trapping moisture in and then I think that's what happened because None of our horses ever had rain rot before. It has to be because of the oil that I was using. So I won't be using that again. He's almost better. I'm gonna treat him while the girls get their ponies ready. Hey, you come here and be clean. That's okay, he doesn't have to be clean. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be a little wet. We'll get a towel, we'll dry him off. So, I don't think you guys can really clearly see because we're inside and it's dark, it's hard to see. But essentially, it started off just up here and then I was putting oil, and then the more oil I put, the worse it would get, like it's bad up here again. And then all the skin would just peel off, and now it's all the way down to here, which is super annoying. So, yeah, he's a little bald in the back. It literally took me a half an hour to treat Storm's bum. You basically have to pick up every single spot and then spray it with stuff and wash them down and then spray them. Like, first we wash them, then I pick it. Yeah, it's been terrible. This is the storm I know and love. He put his head out there to see if it was still raining and he's like, I don't, I don't want to do it. Let's stay in. It makes me sad for him to see that Gabby's going to be riding Chino. You okay? Your face itchy? All right, let's go. Let's go. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Don't you know that you're